Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher and Gabby. Uh, I know yesterday we talked about the new release, inclusive to which was the university. <laughs> and today I wanted to go over the new tactic that has become available. Um, decoys. I have played around with this and wanted to actually just do a brief overview on it, complemented with show it an attack. I've been mucking around with my army, so I cannot guarantee the success of five-starring this attack. So no critiquing that. It's just as an example. Now, the weakness is that this is a limited duration uh, decoy. It distracts enemy troops and buildings. So it's got a 45-minute build time with a radius of 20, which is huge. And the duration is actually 48 seconds. Uh, pulse is 1. I'm assuming as you upgrade that, uh, the duration might increase as well. The pulse might decrease. Um, so, the purpose of this is that you want to be dropping it in order to actually distract um, either shooting, shooting buildings or units, both of which will be distracted by this. And I'm not entirely satisfied on which, uh, where you should be dropping your army in respect to that decoy. However, in my experience in playing around with this, which is limited, only a day, I have found that you want to drop it relatively close to where your army is at because your troops will actually get distracted. So this guy's in an enlightened age. He's got lots of blessings, but not enough food. We're going to at least try and make this beneficial. Uh, industrial age 139. We might in fact end up getting eaten, but we're going to give it a shot anyways. So, it's got the Forbidden City. I'm going very, very tank heavy, as you can see. So where we're going to start is... Why don't we start right up at the top here? See, now, we're going to start right here. You can only drop this where you can actually place troops. So, with that being said, I lied. We're going to drop the decoy right here. And you'll see that it spawns and automatically everything starts going towards that. Allowing you to get in here with all of your other troops. And I've got a little gunner there. Now you'll see that this mortar then changed direction and was now shooting at my tank, which has come at it. As well, you'll notice that my Gatling gunners have actually popped over here and are killing the troops that are trying to attack the decoy. <laughs> So we missed the quick victory, which is all right. Zoot de lore. So, with that being said, let's throw a protect on these guys. And now you'll note that decoy is gone. I'm not sure if that was 45 seconds or not, but it is what it is. <laughs> and of course, kids. I never guarantee the success of my attacks when there's children involved. Let's try and get everybody together. I do usually find that my artillery don't like to stick with the rest of my army. That's just the way it goes. I don't know why that is. But my artillery quite often are like, we got this. We don't need any protection. Um, <laughs> Now, okay, where do they go? Where are my artillery? They're actually staying relatively close, which is kind of helpful. Now, you'll notice that those Gatling gunners do a horrible job on <laughs> actually destroying buildings. But they are very efficient at taking damage and protecting stuff. Okay, that's exactly where I wanted those guys to go. So we're going to let them polish that off down here. We'll get them sped up with a speed rally there. 
yeah, you're helping. Congratulations. Yeah, you're totally helping. It's good. Hooray. Uh, do we want to sabotage that? No. It's not even an anti-tank gun. It'll be gone quickly. There we go. And you can see that those gas, I do like them because they do take a lot, a lot more damage than normal. Normal shooters. But obviously you do have to have enough stuff to get through. Which, of course, I don't this time around. Ha 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 ha. Um... Three, two, one. No, not going to happen, but there you go. There is your, I don't know if that's good or if that's bad, but there's an example of how you can use it in order to distract troops. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to click the like and subscribe down below. Like and subscribe down below. And don't forget, keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time.